praying mantis the other day hi everybody welcome to my channel and look at this a ladybug yay eat all the bugs on my plants if there are any I guess there must be or else she wouldn't be here look at that ladybug whoa oh no I dropped her oh well I bumped her but I'll show you something about this coleus. Coleus are only supposed to be, I think it's called dicotyledon, meaning they have two leaves with their branches. But this one's different. Uh-oh, I knocked one of them off. I must have knocked one off. Anyhow, see how there's three leaves there? three leaves. There's only supposed to be two. See on this one? They alternate that way then this way. But this one has three. And I just bumped right there. There was another little branch and I bumped it off here with the ladybug. But this happened to me a long, long time ago that I had one that had three branches but as you notice the little guys that are coming up and branching off they're two by two see they alternate but this one has three leaves very unusual and I'll show you the plant that it's coming from is over here I meant to film this the other day. This is a freak of nature. And it's this plant right here. I'm trying to see if I can get to the part that's three right here. See, one, two, three. This is the main stem. And here we go again. There was one broken off. One, two, three. But the baby's on the side. No, that's a different plant. This is the mother plant. It's three by three. See? There's three coming out. There's another one that broke off. You can see where it broke off. This is bent. So I'm going to try to save this little guy piece by piece because that's very unusual to have three. This was three dollars at Lowe's. Look at that leaf. Looks like a hand or something. It was just pouring down rain and then it quit. So this isn't very much fun. Here's one of my baby plants and it got ripped by the ginger. This is from my black ripple. Very tender leaves when they first come out and that's the newest one. And see how they come out? They come out inside that gap right there. What you can see the gap right there. So it's a beautiful baby plant. Maybe this is one I'll give away when I hit a hundred subscribers. Here's Black or Tropical Storm. That's a baby. I think as the leaves get older, they get the white on them. That's a canna. Canna I grew from a little bulb. It's gorgeous. There's my banana. The ginger is very, very pretty. But lack of rain is getting to it. 
this is my alocasia that was $9.99 at Lowe's, but it's not marked. See how big the leaf is? And the alocasias, um, just so you know, if you bring them in for the winter, try to keep them alive because what I saw on a video about alocasia and colocasia elephant ears is alocasia if it goes dormant it's hard to wake it up in the spring so don't let it go to sleep and go dormant now blue hawaii can see how big it is i don't know one one two three it's about four hands long but the beauty of this one is this. Look at underneath how beautiful it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the stems are dark. So, elephant ears or colocasia can go dormant. You can let the frost get them and then dig them up. Some of them can survive some cold weather, but that would be in the ground with a lot of mulch on top, hay bales, something to keep the ground from getting too cold. So these guys, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe let the frost get them, and then... <laughs> This is so big. And then put the bulb in some peat moss. Now notice, this is the new one. It's not black. It's green at first and then it gets darker. And here's an older leaf way down here. So the older leaves die. I just love these. They're just so big and so beautiful and so pretty. These are my favorite, the Black Ripple. Blue Hawaii was beautiful before we got all this dumb old drought. And there's a new leaf. Look at that one, how funny and funky it is. Look at that. Oh, it's stuck. That was it. See how... It's coming out of that center right there. And it was stuck. Here's I put all these out for the rain. Here's my I think this is the cheeky Diffenbachia. Or is this the camouflage? Oh no, I have two big ones. This is the tiki. There's the camouflage one over there. I put these out for the rain and they're just getting wet, that's all. I think this must be an aglionema. Not marked. This, I'm thinking, is a lickety split philodendron because it's not big like the other one. There's one of my monsteras that's been undercover. This is the camouflage Diffenbachia. Look at the size of that leaf. That tip was like that whenever I bought it. So it's Crunched in here. I was hoping they'd get some rain. And there is Fontanelli or F O N T A N E L I I, something like that. There's new leaves unfurling. This one has been under the canopy. And so it doesn't have the deep color this one has. 
this is a new leaf but it's firmed up it's funny these guys whenever their new leaves come out they're very very thin this is in the way of the new leaf whoa look at that beautiful Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Another blue Hawaii. No, this isn't blue Hawaii. This must, this must be this is something. No, it's blue Hawaii. You can see the veining on the back. And then right over there is my golden shield, Alocasia. And it has some babies around here. So, hardly walk, hardly walk. This is the patio that was so empty at the beginning, at the beginning. And there's my golden pothos, my white bird of paradise. You can see there's a lot of plants, that's for sure. I gotta get my act together and figure out who's going inside. Here's the baby golden shield. This is another one I was thinking of maybe shipping whenever um I hit a hundred subscribers. Or here's a smaller one. That one might be a better bet to ship. I don't know. I gotta decide what to do. Here's a whole bunch more. And you turn around this way, and there's some more. And I love this. I called it a Rio Congo or something the other day. It's a Rojo Congo. And I love this red in here. And here's one of my favorite. All right, everybody, make sure you click like, make sure you subscribe. And remember, when you watch anybody's video, click like. It's not that hard to click like. And we all know how to make someone happy, and that's simply just clicking that like button. So, leave a comment. Let me know you visited. When I see you on other people's videos, I always try to say hi. If I recognize your name... I'm almost up to 80 subscribers, so 20 more, and I'll have a giveaway. And maybe I'll let you have a choice of what you want. Here's something I just did. Don't mind the mess. I save these and put the rainwater in them. But I bought these little orchids reduced for $3 at Lowe's, so I decided I would try these little wire baskets. I put two in this one. This was only 50 cents for this little wire basket. And this one was a dollar at a different thrift store. So, I put the cocoa fiber in. I left the sphagnum moss around. See that new little tip? Isn't that adorable? All of them were healthy except the one that's all by itself. It seemed to have the most dead roots. So, anyhow. Subscribe. Click like. There's another baby. I have a whole bunch of babies around here. Anyhow. You guys, click like. Click subscribe. Make someone's day. Make someone happy. Make yourself happy. God bless everyone here in our plant community. And see you later. Bye-bye.